Ladies and gentlemen, we are now here Tuesday tracking all of the Washington Commanders cuts as they are trying to get down to 53 by the time we hit 4 p.m. So we have a lot to discuss as it was a lot of people that made the roster, a lot of people that got cut. Let's talk about it. I did 20 years, you know we back on. Huh? No more Snyder, more McClure, more forward with the passion. You know we score. That X feel back, lit. No, it is not boring. John Allen lead the troops, yeah. You know we storming. Burgundy and gold in my veins, yeah. I bleed that. St. Joe saw the ball, grab a pig, yeah. I need that. All right, look, Slim. I'm gonna let y'all know this right now. Your boy Juan Gotti's on fire. This is exactly why y'all need to start listening to me because I be telling y'all what's going to happen with this team. And some of y'all be thinking I don't know what I'm talking about. I told you they wasn't going to keep Alex Armour. He's gone. He's going to be on the practice squad. They chose to keep Mitchell Tinsley. He made the 53-man roster. I told y'all after that performance versus the uh, Cincinnati Bengals that they could not have afforded to let this guy touch waivers. If he touched waivers, they were going to lose him. They decided to bring him on the 50-man roster. Well-deserved by Mitch Tinsley. I also told y'all that um that th that Dax Mill was gonna make this roster a lot of y'all are Dax Mill haters but I told y'all he does exactly what they want they don't care about having a dynamic returner what they care mostly about is having a guy that's gonna secure the catch and that's all Dax Mill does if Kazman Allen would have just shown them some glimpse of he can handle his own Dax Mill wouldn't have made this roster, and then Kazman Allen would have been that seventh receiver or sixth receiver. But since Kazman Allen spit up all over himself, they could not afford to have him on his active roster this year. Okay? Brian Daniels going to IR for the rest of the year. He's out. You know what I'm saying? So that opened up another roster. A lot of people thought they was going to bring Brayden Daniels on the active roster. I said, no, didn't see enough from him. How true is his injury? I don't know if it's really true, but he's not good enough to make this roster, okay? Now let's get into to, to, to the rest of the people. All right, Tyler Lawson got released. He's going to be on the practice squad. This one surprised me a little bit. Not so much, but a little tad bit because I felt like they wanted to keep Tyler Lawson on the active roster for the simple fact that Ricky Stromberg potentially is not ready to step in that center, but they probably feel trustworthy with Ricky Stromberg and or Nick Gates, you know, health-wise is another reason why I thought they would have kept him, but they probably feel comfortable with Nick Gates, uh, you know, starting in health-wise. And then Ricky Stromberg, if he needs to step in, he can step in. But at the same time, Ty Lawson is going to be back on the practice squad, so if they need in the pinch to call him up eight times, they'll be fine with that. But this one did catch me a little bit off, a little bit by surprise, you know, um, a little bit. Uh, Noah Laufenberg got released. He's going to make the practice squad. Um, Jake Fromm got released, but he's going to make the practice squad. Obviously, you don't want, you don't need to have three active running uh, quarterbacks on the roster now that you can call one up emergency on game days. Um, Jonathan Williams got cut. You know what I'm saying? Or Jonathan Williams rather got put on injured reserve, so he's done for the rest of the year. Um, this was another surprise. Like I didn't think he was going to make the active roster or anything like that, but I didn't think they was going to put him on IR for the remainder of the year. So hopefully they're trying to now. Hope Jared Patterson can um, make it back to the practice squad. And if they need to call him up on game days, they probably will. If he does make it back, y'all know how I feel about JP. I hope JP goes somewhere where they're actually going to use him and buy him because he deserves to be in his league. Now, our running back room is Brian Robson, Antonio Gibson, and rookie Chris Rodriguez. So, again, they, they want that fourth back to be Jared Patterson on the practice squad. They put Jonathan Williams on the injured reserve again, and Derek Gould has been released. So, uh, they looking for Jared Patterson, okay? Um... Next, they got they released uh, Terrell Burgess, uh has been informed that he's been released. I think he's a guy that they want back on the practice squad also. But, you know, Terrell Burgess, he's a guy that's going, that, that tends to get plucked off on practice squads and rosters in the, mid -season, in the middle of the season. So I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't make it back, but I'm pretty sure they want him back. Dejon Hurst has been waived by the team. Strong pr uh, practice squad candidate. Definitely think he's going to make the practice squad if they do, uh, if he doesn't get picked up by anybody else. The Commanders uh, also released Alex um at King Blue, uh, he's a practice squad candidate according to Ben Stanton. And of course, like I already mentioned, Kazmir Allen, as we know, since he, you know, spit up all of himself in week three of the preseason, they are not going to resign. They're not going to bring him to the active roster. But they are hoping that he can make it to the practice squad, which he's going to. Um, linebacker Dejon Harris, per sources, seems likely to return to the practice squad. They released Brandon Dillons. The commanders are also releasing Kay and Smith, uh, Nick Whiteside. 
um, another uh, practice squad candidate. And obviously Mitchell Mitchell uh, Tinsley makes the active roster. Like I said, they were going to keep seven receivers. They weren't going to keep Alex Armour. And because um, they they have John Bates, they can use John Bates in that role if they want to use if they want a real H back. They can use. Uh, John Bates in the Alex Armour role, or if they really desperately want Alex Armour, they can call him up at any time. Um, Washington Commanders, then they waived Rashad Wild Goose. Don't think he's going to be back on the practice squad. He had a terrible preseason, so I don't expect him to be back on the practice squad. The Commanders are releasing William Bradley King and cornerback Jace Whitaker. Uh, especially uh, expect William Bradley King to come back. Jace Whitaker had a solid preseason, too. Um, but William Bradley King is going to be back on the practice squad, no question. And wide receiver Dax Mill will make it as well. Per source, Mill can help um, in a couple of spots as a backup punt returner if no one else. Not sure yet uh, if that means seven receivers on the initial 53-man roster, roster. And I think that that, that means that if they're keeping Mitchell Tinsley and they're keeping Dax Mill, that means they're going to be seven, um, seven wide receivers. Okay. And then they also released the Mason Brooks. Mason Brooks is going to be probably one of the, the first – people that make the practice squad honestly because he was real good this past season um another another uh this past off season another surprise for me uh another who will make the initial roster per source is tight end curtis hodges this was a surprise to me because depending on depending um you know that the fact that he did not have a strong preseason he was not that good this year uh, in the preseason so i did not expect him to make the roster but you look at it it's just logan thomas cole turner and, and, and John Bates, maybe they want to, you know, have their insurance policy, um, you know, just in case Logan Thomas isn't ready and your only pure pass catcher, even though he didn't show a lot of it this uh, this this preseason, I'm, I trust him more than I trust John Bates as far as a pass catcher. So that's probably why they kept him on there, the 50-man roster. But that that's a surprise right there. I didn't expect Curtis Hodges to make the 50-man roster. Per John Kime, he says, keep in mind that the initial 53-man roster will be maneuv maneuvering after final cuts. This will be the true 53-man roster. So, again, even though they're cutting guys now, the true 53-man roster won't be uh, out to after 4 p.m. Uh, and the Washington Commanders, as I mentioned before, they released Alex Armour. Um, so, Washington now has two vests they released that they um, look, look to resign. Armour and Tyler Lawson likely keep a few players um, people that will go on IR tomorrow, open up a couple of roster spots for uh, Arm and Lawson. The Commanders waste, uh, waived wide receiver Bryson Tremaine. So there y'all have it. Y'all are now all caught up on all the moves that the Washington Commanders made today. I told y'all, man, listen to your boy Juan Gotti. Mitchell Tansley was going to make the seven-man roster. Uh, seven wide receivers spot and make this 50 man roster. Alex Armour was not going to make this official roster. And Dax Mill was going to make this roster. So with that being said, it's me and boy Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe. Hail to the Washington Commanders. We're on the road to 6,000 subscribers. Please hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already. And again, don't hesitate to enter that Terry McLaurin jersey giveaway. All you got to do to enter the giveaway is hit that subscribe button down below. It's totally free to subscribe. And if you're a Washington Commanders fan, you should be subscribed already. See y'all later.